She's so sweet. She's not worried about Haiti. Just look at her. She's not the slightest bit concerned. She said, Haiti ain't gonna get me. Haiti gonna catch these paws. Isn't that right? <laughs> you know what's funny about propaganda? I know, not, not, not that propaganda right there. Okay, he's sleeping right now. He's sleeping right now. I named that dinosaur propaganda. Because most information that we receive about our so-called history is propaganda. But, um... You know, a lot of these news stories... are designed to keep us distracted so that we don't connect with each other over real things. You know, if, if you have a bunch of people collectively talking about something that's either like a totally fake news story or something that's been like fabricated and um, sensationalized, then it, it's, it's like further proof that the powers that be have control over the general public because now all these people, like hundreds, maybe even thousands of people are all talking about this thing that's not really happening or it's not really that serious. And it's usually a distraction from other things that are happening, you know? And I do find it interesting that this whole, like, cat eating story comes from Springfield, Ohio. And Springfield is the same town of Matt Groening's very popular television show, The Simpsons. And Elon Musk sent a tweet. See, I randomly do, like, research on stuff like this, and I notice, like, the kinds of things that people say, like, you know, really famous people like Elon Musk. Um, he put out a meme... Those ever so reliable memes, okay? The only artistic contributions that conservatives are devoted to, okay? He put out a meme with Lisa and Bart in a cemetery. <laughs> and there was a gravestone for a cat. Okay, so I, I don't think that that's, like, the slightest bit coincidental that a story like that would come from a town that has the same name as this fictitious place and the most popular cartoon that is, is known for telling the secrets of, of, you know, the world and what's actually happening in America. So, I'm not gonna say that no cats were eaten. I'm not gonna say that no animals were harmed. But, um, I, I don't really understand like why they're even talking about it considering the fact that like just a couple of weeks ago, um, What's his face was bitching about cat ladies. So 
people don't, you know, really put everything together. Like they don't connect all these dots and they don't remember things that people said. And they definitely don't remember things that people do because nobody has um, memory anymore. You know, I think about like slot machines, you know, actual slot machines in Vegas or like, well, any casino really, um, where, you know, you see the different pictures of fruit, um, and you know, it, it's like, if, if you're like staring at a slot machine, you're probably not going to remember, you know, the, the visual that you saw, you know, like 10 seconds ago. You're definitely not going to remember the visual that you saw two minutes ago. And like it, I cannot stress enough, like how dangerous smartphones really are because like what they're doing to people's brains is, is just, totally like retardation okay like people are not capable of processing memory the same way so you can forget critical thinking you can forget self-assessment you can forget people trying to understand anything you know it's like that's why they're so obsessed with with certain things that are happening because it's like they're just stuck they're stuck in in like this this momentary impulse of like you know a, a world event or political event or you know whatever people are talking about at the time um it's like everybody's held captive. And so they're not really living for themselves anymore. And, and when I say that, I don't mean like, you know, individualistically or anything like that. I, I mean like they're not conscious of their experience anymore. Because they're just like totally captured by this you know, importance of like, like whatever's happening at the time, you know, that's why people can't remember things that happened last week. And they definitely can't remember that they originally said that that jab had a 96% efficacy. <laughs> they definitely don't remember that, you know? So I don't, I don't have photographic memory. But because I don't have a smartphone, it feels like I have photographic memory because everybody around me is so dumb now. And I know that they are because like there are people that I knew before the phones came out and they are so much dumber. And that shouldn't be, you know, like the older that you get, unless you're so old that you, you have Alzheimer's or something. But like the older that you get, you should be wiser and you should be like more mature and you should be more understanding. And that's not happening. It's the complete opposite. So I'm just saying. Pays to be unconventional, y'all. It pays to be unconventional. Even if we will in fact die alone.